What's up, guys? Right here. Um, this is sort of like the same base plate that I use for the Raycast tutorial, but uh, this tutorial is gonna be like mobile buttons. People kept asking me about this, so this is pretty quick. So just to start off, um, you wanna make a screen GUI and start a GUI, and then make a frame. And uh, I'll just bring my frame. So about like down here, I'm gonna make sure I resize it correctly using scale instead of offset. Now I'm gonna just do like yeah, that's fine. Let's say we have a few buttons. We're just gonna make. We'll make two, not text buttons. We'll do image buttons. Let me just make sure to size them correctly. That right now. Now I'm gonna just make the background, the frame, like zero. This would be like my two buttons, right? My name button one and button two. Uh, let me just give them images real quick. Yeah, I'm just giving some random images, honestly. Sorry for the rare cut. Um, I just gave them two random images. Yeah, to get started, um, make a local script, and then eh, I'll put it outside the frame, All right? And then we just want to call GUI is equal to script dot parent, and that's just the screen GUI. Then we do local frame is equal to GUI dot frame local button one is equal to frame dot button the button two is equal to frame that button two right now to do like like button press functions what you need to do is button one that mouse button click one on the next function and that, that's pretty much it that's how you get the button to click right and we'll tell it to print button one and then we'll do the same for button two and then print button two and uh, I think I'll I'll change the uh, image co colors actually um yeah we'll do that we're gonna do local r is equal to map that random one two four five. And we'll just copy that over. G B right. And then we're gonna do button one that image color because that's what that's the how we're gonna like change the color of the image. And I'm, I'm gonna get this bigger image actually. I'm gonna give this one like a solid white. Let me go back. Okay. So color three dot from RGB RGB. And then we're just gonna copy and paste this in the same thing for our button two. And make sure it's set the button two. Let me just save this real quick. And yeah, when you press play. Press the button, change the color of the button, and it prints button two. Same for button one. So yeah, that's, that's how you make mobile buttons. You can link these with combat systems, uh, visual effects, um, moves, etc. So yeah, just a little quick tutorial. 
um if you like the video hit this like sub share um and yeah thanks for watching